channel. My name is Cherry. So for today's video, I'm gonna share it with you guys about the general steps of my application for the N400, which is the naturalization to become a US citizen. So first is you need the N400 form, which is you can download it online um n400 or so guys the n400 form they have 20 pages right they're gonna look like this so in n400 form itself there is a guide how to fill them up and there's a customer service if you have any questions just call them and they are very helpful okay once you are done um filling them up guys this is how i put my um requirements together right my paperwork so number one requirements um this is how i filed my own right i have photographs two by two full face color white background um, which is located also in N400 that you have to have white background and full face color picture right so two by two of that and number two a photocopy of permanent resident card so your photocopy in front and back so just make a copy of that so that's number two and the third one photocopy of your current legal marital status documents such as your marriage license marriage certificate um some of those questions also they have like if you got divorced before or you have to have that certification and you have to have the copy to show them um, and also some of the documents that I have in there is my uh, tax returns and or if you have overdue taxes you have to have that certificate also you know as proof that you um, paid your taxes and your trips outside the US for example, you went to other countries and you have to write it down a specific time and how many days you um, spend time there, something like that. For example, you go to Philippines, um, how many days you spend time in the Philippines and then back, you know, something like that. You have to have that proof. Um, your passport, guys, you have to have the stamp of exit and entry while you know you go overseas so um that you have to have the date of the house if you are if you own house um just show them that you have that proof that you own a house and you have to have the copy of proof of car registration and insurance I did is when I have that copy all together like in the front in the very front you just make star photographs um, photocopy of my star photocopy of my permanent resident card something like that or like make an outline guys you know? um, so the N4, N400 have 640 dollars filling fee that was back then when i filed mine but they actually changes guys so you always have to make sure that that's the exact amount that you have to pay okay and i have mine i paid bio biometric fees also for um 85 dollars but like i said um the way they give you the filling fees is they fluctuate so they might increase or decrease you know so you have to make sure that you put down the right amount in your 
um, check or money order. So, because USCIS fees change periodically, so you can verify that um, that the fees are correct, right? Me have and when once you call the customer service guys make a note what you are going to ask to make sure that you ask everything <laughs> okay um remember mine i have to call where to send it because certain state have a certain place that we have to send it in you know so call first where to send because mine is the make sure you verify that before you send it in steps processing steps for my paperwork for naturalization right um so first is i submit um n400 on february 21st 2019 right so I submit that together with my check in the front and photocopy of my ID and all that good stuff, all the documents, you know, together with N400, I submit that. On the second one, um, I receive I-797 form on March 21st, 2019. So it took like a month for me to receive that letter. Um, basically, it will just uh, give me a heads up. It's a notice of action that they actually receive my application. And then they want you to know that um, make sure you're, you review this information. If your name is correct, your address is correct, yada, yada, yada. So you have to make sure. And... And then few days later, which is March 27th, I receive in the mail the same notice of action. It's I-797 um, to bring this appointment notice, which is that letter, for my biometric, right? For my biometric fingerprint. So that that is scheduled in April 19, 2019. So, I got my biometric in April 19, 2019, right? Where to go, which place, what time, you know. And you go there, basically, you just get in and show them your appointment letter. And then, um, and then you have your fingerprint, you know. They are very helpful, so you don't have to worry about it. It's I receive my letter schedule for my interview guys that's um june 4 2019 so basically april i have my biometric done and after that they receive it and they verify it and normally if they have any questions and if they want more paperwork from you they will send you letter in the mail that I'm asking for more paperwork normally so I received my letter schedule for my interview June 4 2019 so that letter will say you go to this specific location at this time and you need to bring this you need to bring that something like that so they will send you letter in the mail that I'm asking for more paperwork normally so I received my letter schedule for my interview june 4 2019 so that letter will say you go to this specific location at this time and you need to bring this you need to bring that something like that i'm gonna show you only in biometric guys um there's few officers that work there they hand you one of these for you to study to get ready for your interview so once you having a biometric you receive this right because there are like six questions they will 
ask you out of 100 questions like history about United States guys quick civics lessons for the naturalization test so let me put this away over there okay now is after 20 days of my interview because my interview um, I do have a link below guys um, during my interview experience and I share it with you and I already have the link below so I passed my interview so after 20 days of my interview I receive a letter in mail um, the form is N445 about the naturalization oath ceremony you know they will tell you when where what time what to bring and so when I saw when I passed guys this is my sheets look like actually when they say congratulations your application has been recommended for approval right for oath ceremony okay now let's go back to my naturalization oath ceremony which is 20 days after my interview um so basically i take the oath taking ceremony together with different um nationalities uh, from all over the world guys and it was so nice feeling um my husband was there and my close friends was there with me and they they support me and it means a lot so after that the all taking ceremony normally they congratulate you and u.s citizenship certificate you are now eligible to get a u.s passport so you can get that in your local post office area and that it, it's only take four to six weeks to get it once you have this guys and also you can um, go to the social security system or you can call them and tell them let them know that you are citizen in this country and they will update your information you know so this video guys is just sharing it with you how how i filed my own paperwork my own n400 paperwork and like i said that you can call the customer service and go to the website which is www.uscis.gov for more information so it's it's gonna be different now due to the pandemic so so that's it for today's video guys i hope this video find helpful for you and thank you so much for watching and listening to me and hope you have a great day goodbye